The DevExpress Grid Control for Silverlight allows you to provide your own grouping rules. In this video, you'll learn how to implement a custom grouping algorithm. So let's take a look. I'll start with a Silverlight application that has a DX grid control bound to the products table of the Northwind sample database. To simplify the demo, I've also created three columns for the data. Let's run the application now to see the default grouping behavior. I click and drag the unit price column header to the group panel at the top of the grid. You can see that all the records are grouped by the values in the unit price column. This is not very useful as each grouping does not provide me with a lot of records. Therefore, let's modify this so items are grouped based on a custom rule. I close the application and return to Visual Studio. For this demo, I'm going to implement a custom grouping algorithm so that I can group the unit price column to see it in $10 increments. I select the grid control and run the columns collection editor. I select the column corresponding to the unit price field of my data source. I'll set its sort mode property to custom to enable custom sorting. Next, I'm going to implement the custom grouping algorithm. To do this, I handle the custom column group and custom group display text events of the grid control. First, the custom column group event is raised for each data column whose sort mode property is set to custom. I switch to code view. Within the event handler, I first check to see that the column is not empty and that the unit price column is being referenced. So if the process column is the unit price column, then I'll compare two adjacent rows. If the rows should be combined into the same group, the result is set to zero. Otherwise, it's set to one or minus one. Note that the handled property must be set to true to indicate that no default processing is required. Now we'll need to replace the default text displayed within the group rows. In the custom group display text event, we'll determine whether a group row is currently being processed and if the grid's data is being grouped by the unit price column. If so, then we'll determine the group interval and specify the text to be displayed within the process group row. And I'm done. I run the application again to see the results. I drag the unit price column to the group panel and the rows are grouped and labeled by values ranging in $10 increments. For more information, please refer to the DX Grid for Silverlight's documentation on the web. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.